Mr. Dinelli. Perhaps before we break for lunch, um, it might be um, it, it might be a good use of time for Ms Taylor to be called. I say that, Commissioner, because uh, there will be no cross-examination by counsel assisting of Ms Sinead Taylor. Um, so if her statement can be tendered, I understand there's some, some minor oral amendments, then Ms Taylor can be on her way back to Perth. Yes. Yes, Your Honour. Uh, that suits, Commissioner? Yes. Mr Paul Jammy will be calling her, mm -hmm. just here, and there are only two minor corrections. Yes. of people approaching the witness box, but if the witness would go into the box. Thank you, Ms Taylor. <laughs> now, would you prefer to make an oath or take an affirmation? Uh, affirmation, please. Yes, affirm the witness, please. I solemnly and sincerely... I solemnly and sincerely... Declare and affirm... Declare and affirm... That the evidence I shall give... That the evidence I shall give... Will be the truth... Will be the truth... The whole truth... The whole truth... And nothing but the truth... And nothing but the truth. Thank you very much. Do sit down. Yes. Ms Taylor, could you state your full names and business address? Sinead Taylor, 300 Murray Street, Perth. Ms Taylor, is your appearance at the Commission today in answer to a summons issued by the Commission? Yes, it is. Do you have a copy of that summons with you? Yes, I do. Commissioner, I attend to the summons. Exhibit 3.103, summons to Ms Taylor. Ms Taylor, have you prepared and sworn a statement dated the 17th of May 2018 in response to rubric 3-13 of the Commission? Yes, I did. Do you have that statement with you? Yes, I do. I understand you wish to make some changes to that statement? I do, yes. Is the first of those changes to the table in paragraph 12? Yes, it is. Could you tell the Commission what that change is? Uh, the change is to... Uh, the 2014 aggregate limits for the number of business lending customers changing from 12,999 to 11,999. Just to confirm, that's in the second row, third column, is that correct? It is, yes. Could you make that change in manuscript and initial it? Yes. Is the second change that you wish to make to the table in paragraph 35 of your statement? Yes, it is. And what is that change? So that is a change to the third column in, which is relationship manager. It is a change to the people measure from 10 to zero. Could you also make that change and initiate it? <coughs> and subject to those two changes, is the contents of your statement true and correct? Yes, they are. Commissioner, I attend to the statement. It's it's 3.104 will be the statement of Ms Taylor, 17 May 18, in response to rubric 3.13. Mr. Hodge, you said there was no examination of Ms. Taylor. Oh, Thank you. I, I, I won't ask Mr. Hodge to answer the question, <laughs> Commissioner. Sorry, Mr. Danelli, <laughs> no, there old will be. Old habits die hard. <laughs> there will be no cross-examination, yes. Ms. Taylor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Taylor. You are excused. If we adjourn until 2 p.m.